that's how we do colors. I'm going to jump ahead a little bit while you guys are catching up. I'm going to use the same stuff in the pot and show you the extra stuff. So go ahead and do your colors. You can put me on pause if you want or I'll come back at this point. Um, what I'm going to do is add a little bit of something here. I'm going to take the bedazzles, put a little bit in the container that I want to work with, close them up because I am clumsy and I knock things everywhere. Take one of the beads we started with, this yellow and purplish bead. I want to heat her up along the side of oh. it's here, along the side of the pot. Heat it up a little bit. Because now that it's been cooling, there we go. Takes another minute for it to sort of blend itself. Yeah, we're starting to melt. There we go. Seeing the melting happen. Get it nice and warm. Take your little cup of bedazzles. Dip them in. So that you've got some on the edge there. Now these will not stick as they are. They will fall off once the embossing enamel pool. So put it back in the pot, working on the side, and melt them in. You're going to cover up some of them up? Yes, you are. You're going for texture. If you want to keep all the shine at the surface and not lose any of that, put your beads to the side and once you've got all the colors that you've got, that you want, heat them back up and then put a little gold on this one. And then clean out your pot and go back with clear. You can then seal it all in with a clear coat. Pop it through. I like the way that one looks. This one, I'm just going to add a little bit of gold to the other end of it. And as you can see, these are so fun. You can spend hours working on one bead if you wanted. These are all nice and stuck in here now. And there we go. We've taken a simple plane. We've gone all the way up to vint from collegiate to vintage, adding a little bit of bling, a little bit of color to it there. And that's pretty much it. You can keep doing this and keep doing this, and you can take this purple that's in the pot here. If I add, we get a little bit of gold, so that's going to darken it a bit. It's also going to give it a shine, as if you had added some extra some Pearlex powder to the embossing. Push this over to the side. And I'm going to work. I'm making some nice big plummy beads. Do a quick one, I'll show you halfway up. Twist it. Twist it, twist it. You guys are getting the you're getting the idea, right? Whoop! We drift. That's okay. A little bit in the pan. A little bit to the side. Take another one while that guy cools. There you go. Now, what can you do with all these beads? You may ask, what on earth am I going to do with them? You're probably going to be like me and add them to your collection of things to use one day that you probably never get around to using. If you are not as hoardish as I am, dip in some of these. Oh, that looks great. That, ooh, look at that. See that? That looks really great. Can you see the color on that? I want to get these in nice and tight. Let me show you some of the things you can make. Put this guy to the side. This one's getting nice and chunky. I like that. That'll be good on the bookmark. All right. Here is a simple cord, uh, some linen that I tied some beads to with some glass beads for a great little bracelet that you can wear. Looks fun, looks funky for yourself. The other night I was working with a friend who came over. Hey Gwen, are you there? Thanks for leaving me stuff. Ha 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 ha. Just kidding. Gwen came over, we played and we played and she left me nothing. <gasps> Actually, that's not true. She left me this amazing idea for a necklace. I combined purple 
and the specifically it was the ultra bright violet with the bright blue iris and the gold ultra thick into this awesome set of beads fairly matching I put some little wooden spacers on some leather cord and when I was done I cleaned off my melting pot into a mold that a friend had given me made this awesome face and now I've got this great necklace that's really fun and funky to wear so there you go what can you do oh. Man, you can do whatever you want to do. It's all about art. It's all about creating. It's all about playing, having fun. Don't burn yourself. And if you get tired or frustrated, put it down. Put it to the side. Come back to it. If you want to fix it, turn it along the side of your pot. And there you go. I hope you learned something. Uh, if you have any questions, I am still here, available to answer them for you. You can ask me in the live chat. I'll be here for about an hour or so. And if you're not watching this live, go ahead to paperartistsonline.com. Send me a personal mail with whatever questions you have. Uh, give me some time. I'll be happy to answer any of them back for you. And if you want to get a copy of the whole series of tutorials, let me know. Send me a personal mail, and I'll work on burning a DVD for you. So, hey. It's been great meeting you guys. I hope everyone's having oh, having fun and not burning yourself or knocking your hot pot on the floor. Um, see you soon.